So here I was, I took my sleepy meds, I was getting ready to go to bed, have a good night's sleep, and then I get this notification, oh, we're getting the Singularity Repair Support Campaign, you know, that's going to be hitting us over here on the NA side of things, and I'm like, you know what, before I go to bed, just because I'm the FGO guy, I like to, you know, cover what's going on with the game and everything, let me just double check to make sure it's going to be a normal campaign, and I looked at, you know, main info, limited stuff, you know, I was like, oh, it's the same banner, and then I saw this as I was scrolling down. If you don't know why this is a big deal, JP just got these animation updates for Ordeal Call 2, like not but what, like four months ago? And we were all joking around being like, well, you know, it's still two more years of Chibi Jolter, two more years of Chibi Jean, but they decided to go ahead and drop these for this support campaign, and I think that's super cool because what i was planning on doing is maybe dropping a video talking about oh should you summon for jolter and then you know i was going to do my low star legends video which is going to be coming out later on today because now i have this that i think is more important to kind of push out there uh i think this is really insane they're giving us these animation updates that just came out on jp not but a couple of months ago and I think that's really cool, right? I, I know that they just dropped some like random filler banner that I was ragging on them the other day, but I can always acknowledge when they're doing good stuff, right? And yeah, it's an animation update, right? Should we be getting more of these for other servants? Of course, like we can always rag on them, you know, and complain about everything, this, that, and the other. But the fact that we're getting this early on at the NA side of things, I think it's just a really cool move, right? They did not have to do this. They could have just let us wait all the way until Ordeal Call 2 came out and then just let us get those whenever those came out. I think this is really sick, right? I think it would have been a little bit more sick if they went ahead and dropped the buffs for both of them, but they did not do that. Like, that, that might have been a little bit too good. That might be a little too greedy on getting uh, both Jean and Jolter's buff, because if you don't know, uh, Jean gives, you know, she becomes kind of like a pseudo art support, you know, we don't have 5 billion of those, but she becomes pretty decent after her buff, and then Jolter gets a 50% battery, right, which is always going to be really insane when you have the highest attack stack in the game, and you're going, like, neutral into people at the worst, and, you know, God forbid you're a ruler or a berserker, you know, in some like 90 plus or 90 plus plus node, you're gonna get eviscerated by Jolter. I also find that she's really useful in some of those 90 plus plus nodes because she does bomb the stars. So if you're more face card relying on that, uh, she is actually really good going into that because she does bomb like 30 stars on her NP, has the really good crit damage skill on the first skill over there. But yeah, like they didn't drop those, but it is still very nice to go ahead and get these early. And it does further incentivize for some players, maybe going for one of the two of them because you know, that's like the other thing, right? Like you can always put off going for some servants because like, oh, well, I really like them, but I'll, I'll wait for them to get their buff or I'll wait for them to get their animation update. That's how I was with Kentoki. Uh, Kentoki's a servant I've always really wanted, but I kept putting him off because I was waiting to get his costume because I think when he gets his costume, he looks super dope, right? You know, same thing for uh, someone like Lancelot, right? Like Lancelot's one of my favorite characters, but I was waiting for him to get his animation update before I really went in for the NP5. Then I you know, finally got the animation update, and that's what spurred me to go for the NP5 on him. This, I think, is just really nice. Now, as to whether or not, you know, you should be summoning on this banner, again, it's going to be the same song and dance, right? I know that people that are longtime viewers of the channel are probably like, oh my goodness, ZTL, you keep saying the same thing. Yes, we understand. End of the year is going to have crazy supports, and then all of next year is like the craziest banner you've ever seen but i'm only saying that because it's the truth you know i remember living through you know two years ago when we were getting you know like draco followed up by you know summer which was insane then i mean even just random strong units were dropping like um Juan Gina, right? Like, Juan Gina is really strong. He's like a random servant that drops. And then you have like Kenshin that drops next year. I mean, Pope Joanna is not even that bad, right? Same thing for Rasputin. Those are both like pretty decent servants, and they kind of just get forgotten about because next year is so strong. But I can also understand that it is Jolter, one of the most popular servants in the game, a <laughs> servant that I am working on trying to NP5. It kind of does put me in a little bit of a conundrum. I'm uh, going to be getting my 30 cent court login bonus in a, a couple of days here. And I'm wondering if I should try to go for an NP3 Huyan on just like a random multi. Or if I do, maybe go and try to get a random uh, additional Jean copy. Or I mean Jolter copy. Because you know, one of my friends did taunt me into that. Uh, I think it was last year when she had a raid up. They were like, wow, I can't believe you only have NP1 Jean. And she's like your second favorite servant in the game. And I was like, all right, check this out. One multi didn't get anything. Second multi, boom, got my NP2 Jolter. So I don't know if I should really like push my luck on on that one maybe i will you guys in the comments down below can uh, let me know which one i should do on that one but 
yeah i do think jolter is a servant that if you do summon for her she is worth it she's really good she does very good solid damage she's very very easy to use it's pretty much just rip and tear with the np and then if you have any crits the first skill is going to put in work for you right there could be some you know complicated things you could do with her right but that mostly just gets into like oh well her invincibility and the buster buff are on the same skill, so sometimes you need to time it, but realistically, if you're using Jolter, you're going to turn the enemy into pace faster than they're going to be able to do damage to you, at least if you're rocking her with like double Koya and Sky, especially after she gets that battery, by the way. So she's a very, very solid investment. Jean, I actually do think, is legitimately a very solid servant once she gets her buff or deal call too. Right now, I think she's fine, but I think she kind of becomes a solid option once you do get that buff. But I wouldn't, again, advise going for servants that are not limited or at least story locked, right? Because technically you could always pick up Jean for free whenever we get another five star ticket or, you know, you could just get her on any random banner. I mean, you could literally pull Jean while pulling for Jolter over here, right? Because she's on every single banner. So unless you're a huge Jean simp like I myself am where we were summoning for her last year, you know, I wouldn't advise going for the non-story, non-limited servant, right? Just let them come to you naturally or go pick them up for free, right? Especially again, when you could go for the limited version of Jean over here, who also has Lancelot on their banner. And let me just say, Lancelot, good quick looper if you can get a couple of <laughs> copies into him. NP1 Lancelot, kind of a yikes. NP5 Lancelot, we're kind of cooking with that one. Now, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot else that's coming out here. I think this really is the main hype that they're kind of counting on. That like, boom, we're bringing both Jeans back. Boom, we're going to go ahead and give them their animation updates early. That's super dope. I mean, these missions are whatever, right? Like, just go through make sure you're doing like i don't know like raise an assassin servant to level five. like it's, this is all like easy basic baby stuff right like anybody can get this stuff done i mean even if it did require you to refinish it even though i'm pretty sure if you've already done this you just get these for free right like you just like as always but even if they did it's like bro go somebody for kojiro and go level up a kojiro or something right you know just, just go do something along those lines it's not all that hard um and then over here we do have a little bit of a login so you know if you want to get your six saint quartz over here i mean hey that's what like a fifth of your way towards your multi on the uh, the jolter banner so hey i mean that's that's cool and all but yeah aside from that there's not really i mean <laughs> all caster training grounds unlock i mean okay there buddy you know it's just <laughs> gotta make sure i get those casters i wonder why that is i don't i don't know right like i said it's, it's really weird it says caster training grounds unlock but then it says assassin training it's so funny I don't, I don't i don't know what the whole point of that is i don't know why they're like you want to level up an assassin there's not an assassin over here I don't get it. Someone in the comments can maybe just explain to me that maybe I'm dumb. I mean, to, to be fair, I was getting ready to go to bed. You know, I am quite exhausted. I, uh, I took one of my um, my little sleep aids, right? That's going to knock me out as soon as I literally finish recording this video. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little groggy, a little bit sleepy, but I do like this, right? I do think this is a very solid step forward for this campaign. Unfortunately, it's not like the other ones. It could be like, oh, do you guys think we're going to get something crazy for the next ones? It's like, probably not. You know, they're probably not going to be able to do that. It's just this is a very unique situation where they could give us a good animation update very, very early. But hey, we take these little W's when we get them. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you gassed about these? I mean, I know I am. I have both of the Jeans as the uh, resident Jean enjoyer. I, of course, have the both of them. So I'm going to be enjoying using them for that. Uh, if you're going to be going for Jolter, I hope this video serves as a catalyst. I think uh, Saturday, maybe I will just go ahead and drop a video kind of simping for Jolter, talking about why she's still worth going for. But with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to take myself to sleep. You guys have yourselves a nice day and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.